and I won't throw them away for a lost cause. Don't expect to hold this place for very long, however. The NCR will be back. Judging by the lack of blood, I take it that cow... The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pit of... With their commander go... The Legion will swell. Perhaps in time, I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now, we rest. Know that your efforts are... For now, come. We must... And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave Outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. Though the courier himself was just and forthright in his dealings throughout the Wasteland, he helped the Legion achieve victory. Caesar honored him with a golden coin, minted in celebration of his contributions and distributed throughout the Wasteland. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Cautious after the Boomer's display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the Boomers alone. The Boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley Bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the Great Khans into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many Great Khans mourned the death of their tribe, many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion troops rolled through Freeside. The kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. Most powder gangers at the correctional facility fled into the wasteland rather than face the advancing forces of the Legion. Those brave or foolish to remain were killed or crucified by the merciless legionaries. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 Powder Gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. 
Despite NCR's pledge to support Prim, they abandoned the town after their loss to Caesar. Though Caesar keeps Prim open for business, its citizens live under the constant watch of Legion soldiers. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.